Welcome back everyone to this next video where we're going to talk about the store, talk about some of your products, and uh, start getting into suppliers and supplier information, and how you can start getting products onto your store, start getting sales, accepting payments, and obviously the best part, getting paid. Um, now on the left side menu, you want to hit the store button and you'll be able to see this manage store uh, part. Right now your store will say demo store. This will be upgraded as soon as you're on one of the lotto plans uh, and this will also be able to be published. So this kind of goes back to the last video where once you're on one of the plans, uh, this will be updated into an active running store. Uh, but under your demo plan, you can still customize, you can still edit, you can still get things set up. So when you're on, it's going to say store setup is 40% complete. Step one, your store itself will be created. Step number two, adding products, will have some products up on your store already. Step number three, four, and five, we'll, I'll, I'll be walking you through those in this video. Uh, so starting from the first one, create number, step number one will be to create your store. This store is built on Equid platform. Uh, Equid is a great platform and one of the reasons is that it has integrations across multiple marketplaces. Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google Marketplace, uh, and, and others as well. In, in an effort to get your product to as many people as possible, in as many places as possible, um, you don't just want to sell on your store, you want to sell everywhere, everywhere you possibly can. Uh, and being able to sell directly on Instagram, where someone can buy your product from your Instagram feed, is really powerful. And we'll get into that later when we start doing marketing. Uh, but it's an Equid based uh, store, so your store will be created. Adding products, you can go ahead and click this. Um, it'll prompt you to create a product, so you can add any product name. Say, I want to say, since this is a fashion store, I'll call it Evening Blouse. And you can set up your price. Uh, now, not all, st all your products will be added this way. Uh, what happens is, I'm just going to uh, head back right now. So when it comes to add products, on this side menu, you can see your sales, uh, your catalog, your marketing, your reports. So if you go into the catalog one, go ahead and click that, you're going to automatically be taken to your products page. This is the one that I just added. But on this store currently, there are all of these products. Uh, and when adding new products, you can hit add new product. And you can upload images directly right here. You can add a name for the product. You can add an SKU. This is specifically for you. Uh, you can add a weight when it comes to shipping. Oh, you don't need to do any of the shipping stuff, however. Uh, the supplier handles all of it. Shipping the product out to your customer, setting up the prices, uh, working with refunds, all of that the supplier will be able to handle. You can set up a description for the product as well. Now, if you want to add your own description, if you want to add videos in the description, you can. If you want to add an image in the description, you can do that. Uh, you know, more information description is always a powerful thing. Um, <clears throat> and it helps with SEO as well. You can add categories to your store. So is it a storefront page? This is products that are featured on your homepage. Uh, is it a work or is it an evening product? Uh, now, these are the two collections that we had created earlier. So um, we'll get into that as well and how you can create collections. But that's really it. Once you've, once you've added all of that information uh, and you've made a product, you can hit save, you can hit add new product, and it will be added onto your catalog. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> and adding new products. So going back to the home page, that's how you add products. Step number three will be verifying geo settings. Uh, this is pretty quick. You choose the country where you're living in. You can choose the currency that you want to accept payments in. Um, it, it does work worldwide, however. So if you have an international customer, it'll convert to their currency. But this is for your specific region. So if you're in the U.S., your country will be the USA. Your currency will be the U.S. dollar. Uh, your weight can be kilograms or pounds. It's up to you. Uh, so you can set up then your company info, your online store, company name, phone number. This is what's shown on the customer receipt. So you want to make sure that your company name is correct and that your uh, business address is correct as well. You are allowed to use the supplier's address as your address because this is where your, your product will be shipping out from. So you want to make sure that you fill all of that good stuff out and keep on going. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty simple. Number four will be setting up shipping. Um, I sell digital goods or services and do not need to set up shipping. Or yes, I sell physical goods that need to be shipped. In your situation, your products will be shipped by the supplier. When the supplier ships out the product to your customer, they're going to be sending you a tracking number that you can forward to your customer. 
or you can have the supply forward that to the customers directly. However, you will be setting up shipping with your website. So, and you want to, you can set up a flat rate. So charge $4 shipping for every order or charge free shipping for all of your orders or you know, it's it's completely up to you what kind of shipping prices you want to charge for your customers. Um, and finally, the last step is getting paid. You can add PayPal. So all you need to do is enable PayPal, log into your PayPal account, and all of a sudden you can accept PayPal payments from your customers for your products. You can also add other um, other different sorts of payment processors. So when it comes to other options, you can have manual payments so you can have pay people pay you manually maybe in person if you have a online or a retail physical location you can add more manual payment methods um, there's a few other ones as well so uh, you can have to checkout you could have American Express payment gateway authorized.net is huge you can have Bank of America payment gateways um, coin to pay coin payments um, e -pass. all of these are different ways uh, to get payments pay fast pay flow uh, PayPal, all of these different PayPal options, um, Stripe, Square, uh, once again, pretty big options for you, WorldPay, uh, Zapper, Mobile Payments, all of these are different options for you. So if you don't want to use PayPal, you have a lot of other payment processors at the ready that can uh, that you can start getting paid with. But you definitely want to make sure that you have at least one set up, active, and ready to go. That way, when someone purchases, uh, they can follow through with the entire purchase and they're not hit with, you know, payment processor not set up, please contact store admin uh, or some error message. So make sure you have one of these payment processors set up and at that point, all of your steps will be green. In other words, your store is ready to go. So those are the basics for getting your store set up. Um, now to talk about some of the features of Equid, uh, here you can see your sales. So all of your sales are going to show up here, your customer information, uh, customer shipping address. That shipping address that you get from your customer is what you want to send to your suppliers. And your suppliers will be helping you with this for your first few orders. Uh, just because if you are new, if this is your first time drop shipping or running a business, they'll, they'll walk you through everything. So no worries there. Uh, you'll be able to here see a list of your customers. You can add customers to email lists and um, drip marketing flows uh, and get your customers coming back and buying again and again and again uh, that we cover in marketing. Um, order editor, so if a customer orders a large t-shirt but then reaches out to you and says he wanted a small t-shirt, you can get in, you can edit your order and you can get that fixed up. It says upgrade and activate. You will be upgraded as soon as you're on one of the plans, so you'll be able to do this at that point. Uh, when it comes to marketing, this is pretty important. Uh, you want to make sure that you're selling on Facebook. Uh, it'll be asking you for your Facebook um, Facebook uh, pixel. Uh, and that's something that we walk you through as well. When you're on Facebook, you, you'll, you will be creating a Facebook uh, page for your business. This is where you'll be setting up your Facebook pixel. You need to copy your Facebook pixel from Facebook and paste it right here. We have more resources if you need more help doing that. Um, but what this allows you to do is start selling your products on Facebook. Advertise your products on Facebook as well as selling your products on Facebook. We're going to get into this a little later in this video. So you connect your Facebook page, you copy and paste your Facebook pixel here, and you can start launching ad campaigns. And this will start tracking everybody who's coming onto your website from your Facebook ad, what they're doing. So if they're clicking checkout, it'll show the product more, it'll show the advertisement to them more. If they're not clicking checkout, it'll like, it, it won't show the ad to them anymore. So it, it's smart, it runs smart, and this is where you enter all of that good information. You can also set up Google Ads. We won't be getting into Google Ads until a little bit later. Most brands that we are building, we focus heavily on social media. So Facebook and Instagram advertising is what we'll be focusing on, but uh, you do have the option of setting up Google Ads for your business as well. Reports, this is for general overviews uh, overviews of your business, uh, what kinds of sales you're getting, where where your sales are coming from, if they're in the US or if they're Canada or somewhere over, overseas, um, where your customers live, stuff like that. Now here's the sell on Facebook button. When you connect your Facebook page, uh, the store itself will be connected directly to your Facebook page. Um, and you'll be able to directly sell your products on Facebook. What this means is that customers don't need to click on your ad, land on your website, uh, go through your website to find the product and then click on buy the product and then put in all of their payment information. They can actually pay you 
directly on Facebook. You don't even need to get them onto your website. If they see your product, they click check out. Facebook, if they've ever purchased on Facebook before, Facebook will use that purchase information and checkout information and automatically check out that customer. So you can make quicker sales and faster sales on a platform that customers trust, which is Facebook. And it's just a faster way of making sales and a really cool and a strong integration that you have with this lotto store that you won't find in other places. Uh, and not only that, but you can also sell on Instagram. Uh, just like Facebook, you can connect your Facebook page. Once you do, you can connect your Instagram account and you can list your product directly on Instagram and people can buy on Instagram. Uh, once again, another really awesome uh, resource and integration that you have at your disposal to sell your products on multiple different platforms. And it doesn't end there. You can sell on mobile, you can sell on Google Shopping, eBay, as well as Amazon. Um, all of these are open options for you to really grow your product, grow your business and your brand onto multiple platforms and start seeing sales across all of them. And this reports tab will tell you where your, most of your sales are coming from. So if a lot of sales are coming from Facebook, it'll tell you that you're getting a lot of sales from Facebook, a lot of sales from Instagram, maybe not so many in the beginning from your website, but a lot from these social media platforms. And it'll tell you all this information. It will also record all the customer information up here when it comes to sales and orders. So even if a person buys on Facebook, you're going to see their order come in through here. You'll be able to see their address. You'll be able to see all that good information and you'll be able to record that, send them the product. So all of that can be um, taken care of directly on this single platform. Payment, this goes back to that payment pr uh, processing that we talked about earlier. Uh, this is the shipping, so you can set up your shipping and delivery at uh, shipping method. Uh, because I originally had the uh, store desk, store um, uh, de store location set to Israel, it's setting it's automatically setting me up as Israel. But if I was in the U.S., it might show up as USPS, UPS, FedEx, whatever it might be. Um, and you can choose uh, other carriers or local delivery. You can it's it's a hundred percent up to you how you want to do it. Um, one thing is when we if you since I should change the store uh, country, you can come over to settings. You can hit general and then you can change it back to where would it be United States? So right here. There we go. And we just want to make sure we hit save. All right. So now the store is in the U.S. So if I go back to shipping and I add a shipping method, it'll show Yeah, there it is. USPS. And I can go ahead and hit that. So I can do free shipping. I can do flat rate. So just charge $5 for all, all orders as shipping. I can set up custom rates. So if an order is above $50, free shipping. If it's under $50, then charge $5 shipping. You can do all of that. Or you can have USPS automatically calculate the shipping cost, um, which I do not recommend that you do because supplier is the one that's shipping, not the USPS uh, services. So I don't recommend setting this up. And finally, you have apps. If you, uh, There's nothing that you need to do here right now. Um, if you have a print-on-demand store, you can use Printful. You, you know what that is. Um, you can use product reviews. So if you want to add five-star reviews to your products, you can add, uh, download this app. It's free to $20 per month. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of free apps as well. Free shipping icon, that's free. Uh, this is free as well, Powerful Stats for your store. Um, it's up to you how you want to set that up. But other than that, that's really all Equit is. It's pretty simple, easy to set up, and it offers you a lot of power to sell on a lot of different platforms out there and really get your store out in front of as many people as possible. Um, now, one other thing that I want to go over in this video is adding these store products onto your website. We find that when we go onto shop page, there's two collections that pop up. There is the uh, evening work collection and the evening collection. I'm going to go ahead and delete that entire row and instead I want to add my products on the shop page. All I need to do is open my widgets tab one more time and I would scroll down to the business side and I should find store somewhere here. Here, oh, here we go. So store. So main store shopping cart, store categories, main store. I'm going to go ahead and drag that here and we can kind of customize this design. Uh, however we want. When it comes out, it's going to come out showing me those sections and it's showing me this evening blouse that I set up personally. Um, I want to show the main store. All of these products are on the main store collection. So you can show that up like that as well. Breadcrumbs, this just means it'll have 
uh, up here it'll say store and then it goes away um, you can have category set up so choose how you want pr the category thing laid out you can have them laid out like that you can have it laid out like that it's 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 basically in other words it's really customizable how you want to have it set up uh, let me open this back up so I want to show it's showing that but I want to show the evening one more time there we go all the evening products uh, if I go into products how do how do I want the product layout to be this would be that um, do I want to be like this if it's a fashion brand this this might look pretty cool uh, to a lot of people and when they hover over it you can see that or do I want it once again in the kind of larger thumbnails or we can go back to the smaller thumbnail uh, like that we can have the smaller cube thumbnail maybe a little bit larger so a lot once again there's a lot of customizability here you can have image size so if I want to make that larger make it smaller um, image aspect ratio this is uh, so if I want to make it three by two there you go three by two um, number of images on the page this is the total number of images that are on this page there are eight right now that's because we only have eight products in this collection but if you had 20 it would show you nine and then you'd have to go on to next page to see the next ones but you can include you can hit all as well so if you have 20 products it'll show all 20 products on one page and people don't have to go through the, all the different pages that you have on your store you can show the title you can hover over the title so when you hover over it then it shows the title you can hide the title completely so no hide is no title is shown or you can again show the titles uh, buy now button it's hidden right now but you can show it there you go there it is uh, you can hide it so it only comes up when you hover over the product or you can hide it completely and only show it on the checkout page uh, there's cart and checkout page this is the page where people are actually now buying the product so as you can see it'll have their shopping cart here they'll put in their email address here when when they hit checkout it'll take them to the payment information page it'll ask them for their um, credit card information all of that it is all encrypted it is all secure and these uh, encryptions will show up for your customer so your customer knows that they're in the right place um, and th they will also be sent an email order confirmation letting them know exactly what they purchased um, and it'll update them when they have when you have tracking number from your supplier so that's really all there is to the shop page. You don't need to put, you can put this widget, this shop widget on any page that you want. So if we go back home and say we want to have a featured collection, we want to have a collection like this is, these are all different collections. This is basically a mosaic of images um, that, that are linked. Each image is linked to a specific collection. Um, one column actually. Right there. It's just taking some time. There we go. It's saving it and save changes. Perfect. Uh, and so, and let's go down to the store, the main store, and let's add that right there. I can add all the products or even just a specific collection of products. So, say I only want to add, it's just showing me categories. Um, that's my fault. Say I only want to see the work products and I want to call that a featured collection. Um, I actually don't like how it's going all the way down so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the image size first of all smaller I'm gonna make the image spacing between each less so let me go down actually some there we go and I only want one two three four five so I only want one row of products so and there we go so we have these one two three four five products on this page under the work and I can add this store onto my home page so you can add that store widget on any page of your website once again these featured favorites this is a store widget so this title was added as its own separate um, uh, widget this store widget was added uh, and you can you can recreate these as well. You can create ones like this, this smaller version. It's really up to you and how you want to customize it. A lot of things here are customizable. We've already made the store for you. We've already listed the products 
but um, it, it is all there. It is all very customizable, and uh, I hope that this video you start understanding how things work, how the Equid platform works um, when it comes to all the different integrations that you have available at your disposal. Um, and moving forward, when you want to add more products as new products are coming out and your suppliers updating the inventory, you'll be able to add those products directly onto your store, feature them on your homepage, and get them selling, get the customers rallying behind it.